and we are back on those sample pod this is your boy jj and we got javi over here this is another daytime episode let's go the energy is pumped i can be as loud as i want finally again let's go <laughs> and then on top of that i am super hyped that my broncos finally finally like the rock says beat the chiefs after 16 games of miserably losing to them so yeah you know that's right the bears lost again i don't care i like seth rollins i don't like football (laughs) yeah the fun fact is the broncos last time beat the chiefs whenever the iphone 6s was coming out good god was being released that's fucking crazy but anyways man we're gonna be coming to you guys with our predictions for uh saturday's crown jewel 2023 so let's see what's gonna happen uh glorify house show as we call it but anyways go ahead should be fun should be fun all right so this this actually they just added it last night you have Sami Zayn going against jd mcdonough to open the show part of the pre-show which is kind of weird because they haven't had that many pre-shows as of late or at least matches in the pre-show um uh, this one is is very interesting what they're doing what they're doing uh, i think i don't know if you share the same uh, sentiment i do but i believe that they're trying to take sammy and to kind of use him as a daniel bryan type of baby face where they're gonna have him go against jd mcdonough they're gonna have to go through the whole gamut of of the of the blood of the of the judgment, judgment day until he gets to whomever is the champion which will probably be damon priest at this point hopefully hopefully <laughs> but i think uh but i think that's what they're gonna do and at least there's enough people there that you could actually stretch that story all through mania easy because you there could have is. go there tag is. team matches you can have to do all sorts of things and it'll be kind of a classic baby face move and sammy winning the heavyweight championship in wrestlemania to me would be a great moment I mean, the guy's been around for a long time. Uh, he showed what he can do when he was with the bloodline. And when he turned face against Roman, a lot of people were scared. A lot of people thought that he actually may have a chance. But at least with this title, you don't have to get Roman Reigns involved. And he's going against another faction, which we know he can do a good job at. So, I don't know. I think I think that's what they're going to... That's going to be the end game for is Sami Zayn. And I think Sami wins this match easy. Yeah, and JD McDonough, he's pretty good in the ring too. So it's like it's gonna be a fun match. Unfortunately, probably not that many people are gonna watch it. Realistically, the crown jewel is at what three o'clock Eastern time? Something like that. It's super early. Or, I won't be able to or watch one it. One o'clock live. East, Eastern time, something along those lines. Let me see if it says it here somewhere. Mm, I don't think so. Hold on. Uh, no, it's just November fourth. Yeah, there's a, okay. Uh, oh wait, right here. One one p.m. East East ah, Eastern. Over here to twelve. Like it's time. nuts. <laughs> Gosh, I can't freaking talk, dude. So yeah, so I, I'm not I'm not gonna be able to watch live. Uh, I'll watch it when I come home or whatever, and, and you know just relax. I'll, I'll be able to because you know I got best job in the world. You know. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so. So what do you so what do you think about this match? Like how how do you um, how do you? I think what's I think your what prediction you said, for the show? I think what you said is is correct, and I think Sami Zayn is gonna win. It will kind of be like a nice twist if JD McDonough just like I don't know sneaks in a win. You know what I mean? Just be like, and then he finally joins the Judgment Day because like he's still technically not in the Judgment Day. He's just kind of like how Sami Zayn was whenever he was with the bloodline things how everything was starting yeah you know what i mean so um but uh definitely see what you're saying about he's gonna start from zero from working his way up on like cody rose that is just like damian priest whoa exactly so um yeah uh Sami Zayn is definitely gonna take take the dub on this one all right, cool. Uh, next match, we're, I don't we don't know what the exact match card is, but we're just going by whatever's on ESPN. The Thank match you, ESPN. Card order. <laughs> order. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, there you go. All right, cool. So for the World Heavyweight Championship, we have Seth Rollins versus Drew McIntyre. That's going to mm. be a good match. Yes. In the ring, it should be a good match. Now, this match, it wouldn't shock me if there's a double turn. 
Hmm. What do you think about that? That would be interesting. Yeah. Because look, when even, was the last time that happened? It hasn't happened in a while. In a while. In a while. And but and done the right way, that's really hard but to wait, do. But wait, hold up. How would it be a double turn? Like they both turn heel? No. Well, because remember, Drew's kind of like, well, not necessarily like turn heel. Not necessarily that Drew's a heel, but he's kind of like a baby face with an edge. Kind of like a your favorite word, tweener right now. So it, it would make sense for him to kind of take over everything. And uh, and Seth Rollins used some kind of heelish tactic to win, right? So then you you actually, if that's the case, then you have the story right through Royal Rumble at least, right? Well, then yes. you can have them have like a series of three matches, which you know they're going to be good because they're both really great in the ring. Uh, but I don't know. It seems like people are starting to not necessarily turn on Seth, but he's not getting the reactions he used to get. I don't know if you've noticed that. Like now the whole thing of sing my song. It's happening, no. but not that, not as loud. Like, li- yeah. like little yeah. by little, it's like, okay, people get into it after a little while, yeah. but it's like... But they get into it probably because of the experience of being there, and then you get influenced by other people to yeah. do it, you know what I mean? But it used to be one of those things where he's he's coming down the ramp, and people are already singing his song, and they're doing the whole... Yeah. Now it's like, he has to ask for it, and then when, even when he does, it's like, um, do we do this or not? Uh, we like, really don't want to do this. Yeah, exactly. It's like, he's forcing us. But anyways, <laughs> but uh, but the thing is that it's it's one of those things where I think people I think it's getting old already. Honestly, uh, it's kind of like the whole Cody thing. Cody has cooled down a bit, in my opinion, too. Even though he's still over, but right now I I would definitely say that Sami Zayn and Jey Uso are more over than both Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes right now. Right, that's your second, and obviously LA Knight. But and that's you know a whole other story. Why? Do you know why? Because they ha- were influenced by the bloodline in Roman Reigns. No. Sorry, I just <laughs> had to throw that out there. <laughs> but no, uh, anyways, people are just tired. People are just tired. Anyways, uh, I hope Drew McIntyre wins. Unfortunately, he may not win. Um, if we're going based of history of Crown Jewel, how many title changes have happened in Crown Jewel? I think one. Yeah, when uh, Goldberg beat Bray. Yeah. You know what I'm and that's that because it. everybody wanted to see Goldberg as yeah. to have a champion at that time, mainly over there, realistically, because uh, Bray Wyatt was actually, The Fiend was actually doing really good. They destroyed The Fiend yeah, there. They like, destroyed literally, him. His whole yeah. mystique is gone. <laughs> yeah, so uh, it kind of sucks for that. Mm-hmm. Um, but oh yeah, sorry. I started reading a text message over here and got like distracted. Okay. Um, so yeah, man. I I think I think uh, Seth Rollins is gonna win. Unfortunately, I would love for Drew McIntyre to win. Yeah, um, I think uh, I think Seth uh, Seth's gonna win. Uh, just because of what I was saying earlier, that uh, he's probably gonna cheat to win, which would be great. Um, and and basically that's it. I mean, I, I don't think it's gonna be. You know something super crazy, but he's gonna use some kind of heelish tactic. He's uh, gonna, to he's gonna pull the tights. Yeah. Plus the fact his back it seems like it's in tip top shape, right? Bro, it's like magic. Yeah. He he definitely got into that. What is it called? The bu- back to uh, tank. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah. He was next to Boba Fett over there. And he's like right healing. there dreaming too. Yeah. Hey, yo, what's up, bro? So what are you thinking? Ha! <laughs> it's like, oh god. <laughs> Boba Sing Fett just, my song. Boba but, Fett yeah. just murks him right there. He's like, uh, nah. Uh-uh. But, uh, I'm, I'm good. Anyways, I'm good. moving on to the next. The fatal five-way match for the Raw Match of the night. Match of the night. You're being sarcastic. I don't know if you're being sarcastic or being legit. Well, why don't you think it could be match of the night? Fatal five-way with all that. No, yeah, it's going to suck. I was confused. I'm like, uh, you look very small because we we expanded the the the, the website, so it's so like you look very small. So I don't know if you're being sarcastic or not. But so Rhea Ripley versus Nia Jax, Shayna Baszler, Zoe Stark, and Raquel Rodriguez. Hmm. <sighs> this one, it would be crazy if we were to get somebody else winning. Like I don't know, Raquel Rodriguez or. Nia Jax or for a change Shayna Baszler or something like that excuse me but realistically Rhea Ripley is going to retain 
Yeah, um, absolutely. She's probably gonna get dropped by Nia Jax. She's gonna f- sleep for like 20 minutes and then come back and then just do a couple of uh, moves and she wins that way and then that's it. Look up mm, moves at uh, Roman Reigns. Yeah, you know, in a multi-man match. <laughs> yeah, yeah, super, pretty much. Super they just, minutes just to go to back. sleep, wake up. All right, bro, I gotta put the dub in. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so I think that's what's gonna happen. Because real, uh, real, uh, realistically, Rhea Ripley, like she hasn't had a really good tag team run, which we've talked about it plenty of times, and you guys already know how I feel about that. But if from what we've talked about, is like if we take away the title from Rhea Ripley it kind of like ruins the Judgment Day yeah that's true she's like the bonafide leader plus the fact look you know just just going by the list Nia Jax I don't think they're going to give her the title yet to be honest with you I don't think she even needs the title she's kind of more of a more of just a bruiser just go in there and you know Rich hauling her way through the through the division Uh, then you have Shayna Baszler which Talk about start and stop with her. They make her look like a beast and all of a sudden looks like nothing. Then she has that match with uh, with Ronda Rousey in an MMA style match. It shit the bet. It was terrible. Yeah. So Which I, Ronda I Rousey is apparently coming back. I mean, uh, she's doing a... Let's do some indie. Yes, yeah, she's so doing some indie. Even though it, it is for charity, apparently. So it's not <laughs> even like real. That. So I don't know. And she's with Marina Shafir, I think. I'm the yeah. problem. You're the, <laughs> the <Yeah. bad> <laughs> no, Oh my you're god. You're the problem. <laughs> they should both be exactly. You they guys should, are the problem. I'm sorry. They, yeah. They should uh, they should cut promos, <laughs> but anyways. Yeah. Then we have Zoe Stark, which she's still relatively new and and uh so she's still getting her feet wet. I, I don't think there's any way. And then Raquel she she would be a good women's champion, but she's more of a chaser. Like she needs to win that title at like the rumble or or wrestlemania with a story where she goes through i don't know where she has to go through a lot of people like maybe have a good feud with nia Jax, uh which is credible because she's also um on the taller side she's also a bit they're i mean they're, they're both much taller than, than most women of the division so i think it would make sense it would be cool uh and then eventually she does win at some point but not right now not right now i, I don't i don't see it i, I really don't see it and Rhea's like right now, regardless of how her of how her championship run has been, her title in like what you were saying within the whole Judgment Day thing is way more important than whatever she can do as a wrestler. It's more about that character, about being that leader. Because yeah. then after that, if she loses that title, then literally the whole thing may fall apart. Because then it's like, yeah. oh, you don't have a title, so you're out. You told us that too. Now, the one mm-hmm. thing that I'm very surprised is about this match is that uh, Becky Lynch is not in it, <laughs> especially after losing the NXT champion. Bro, I'm surprised that Charlotte isn't in it. <laughs> That's a fact. I'm Why? very surprised that, she, that, minute? Why that Charlotte minute? is not in either the SmackDown Women's Championship match or the Raw one. Some way, <laughs> well, somehow. She's just, she has two matches in one night, bro. Watch. <laughs> no, she, watch. This is gonna happen. Surprise. They present they present all five, and then all of a sudden, uh, yeah. uh, she just pops up, <laughs> like, like floating. Fuck. In the air, and you're like, ah, oh, damn it. Here we go. Ah. Here we go again. It's like, so, bro, yeah. it's, not, it's not how it For the anymore. 25th time, she <laughs> is the women's champion. And, yeah. then she, and then they have another match the same night, and she loses it again. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but anyway. Some way, somehow, somebody cashes in with the money in the bank. Yeah. Like, wait, hold up. Who? Who what is the, what is the next match, JJ? Undisputed <laughs> WWE Universal, Universal Championship. <laughs> Roman, wait, the head of the table, the tribal chief, Roman Reigns versus. Let me talk to you. Yeah. Versus the uh, what is, what what's his what's his nickname? The um, the I thought. He has something with star. <laughs> Anyways, versus L A Nine, superstar, <laughs> the fastest rising superstar in WWE history. Yikes! 
But anyways, so, we're yeah. gonna we're gonna we're gonna have that five years from now. He's gonna still say, he's gonna say the same thing. Yeah, yeah. dummy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I yeah, can't wait um, for him to turn heel. Damn it, he needs to turn heel. Oh, I can't wait. But anyways, yeah. <laughs> uh, a lot of people, bro. I've been uh, I've been low key, like kind of like checking uh, sources, like other wrestling sources and pages and things like that, just to see what the fan base is saying. You know what I mean? And like a lot of people are like, oh my God, excuse me. This is the time somebody's yeah. going to dethrone Roman Reigns. I like Knight is going to do it. He's way ready. No, no he's not. But, no. and he's not, no, he's not twice. So yeah, he's not ready. And then he's not going to dethrone him. He's well, a great that, baby it, face in terms of being, um, how he skyrocketed. You know he's I mean, very probably. popular, but that doesn't mean that he's going to be the champion. Like, correct. Like we've seen that in the past. Hell, Stone Cold was extremely popular. He didn't beat Bret Hart the first time he he faced him for the title. He lost. Oh. He looked great doing it, but he didn't win. I would have so, been okay if Sammy or Drew McIntyre would have beat him. Would have been Roman. But yeah, like, realistically, at, at this like point, Drew McIntyre was more legit. I, I would Drew makes more sense because he's somebody you could you could keep the belt on for a long time. Uh, he's very credible. Uh, but yeah, this one I mean no no there's there's no way LA Knight wins. Uh, this is gonna be well, Roman Reigns all day. C- could it be a DQ finish like we saw one of, uh, somebody comment on our previous video? Maybe just so that he doesn't get the L I guess. But- Maybe because of Jimmy getting involved. I think the only person that's going to get involved is Jimmy. Jimmy do something really stupid. Roman's just, actually winning the match, and Jimmy just comes in. Ah, super kick. In the hot route. Hot there. route. <laughs> Audible. <laughs> Audible. And then Roman just spears <laughs> spears Jay into oblivion. Bam. Yeah, it's just like, bro, like, you didn't need to get involved. Actually, so actually. I would have loved a, fi- a clean finish or whatever. Actually, and we're going to talk about this in, an, in, a, in another episode, but what if? All of a sudden, Roman Reigns is losing the match. Uh, for whatever reason, somebody comes and helps LA Knight, or John Cena helps LA Knight, whatever. And then all of a sudden, somebody shows up. The Samoan werewolf. Ooh. I don't think that would happen. But Jacob Fatu? Awesome. No, yeah. he wouldn't. Uh, he's under contract with MLW until like 2025. But Triple H will probably like, here you go. Oh now, uh, now got- the uh, the people that I will see uh, joining will be the, uh, the what is it? What do they call the Samoan Samoa? SWAT team? Yeah, but we'll we'll talk yeah. about that a little bit more in yeah, depth yeah, yeah. later on. But because there's a, there's a lot of little little nuances to that story. Yeah, because <laughs> usually there's like a no wrestling clause until 2020 30 or whatever 2020 30. Yeah. Well, and I know uh, apparently the the owner of MLW has been kind of a pain in the ass with WWE for, yeah, uh, yeah, for a long yeah. time, which is yeah. fine. I mean, hey, he's only defending, he's only doing what he can do. I mean, a much smaller company. I've never even heard behemoth. of him. I legit have never even heard of him. No, they're, they're actually pretty. They're actually pretty decent. Um, they've added a few stops and uh, stop and starts. Uh, like they they've gotten to like where Impact is, and then they lower back again. Uh, but they've had really I mean, the wrestling is actually really good. But, uh, but anyways, uh, yeah. So this one, Roman Reigns wins. There's, there, I, I have no. Uh, out of a hundred, I I give it ninety nine point nine nine percent, and I just say that because anything can happen. Roman Reigns gets hurt right in the middle of the ring, and they have to make a oh last. Oh my god! You imagine second if call he would fucking lose, bro. I would legit cry. I I know you will. I would. I legit know you will. Just like. Oh, daddy lost. I know you will. And actually, you know what? That, that would actually that would help us because you're gonna have to go to therapy with uh, better help. Oh no, wait, they're not sponsoring us. They should help. They should sponsor us. Fuck! Because we do need some. <laughs> yeah, we, need some we do need therapy and we need sponsors. <laughs> but uh we just got to trade on the NFL market. Oh. Bears what? trade for Montez Sweat. Um and they sent a second round pick to Washington for Montez Sweat. That's good. He's a good player. So that that's gonna help the Bears. They're still gonna be shit, but it's just gonna be like they're not gonna be diarrhea. They're gonna be a little bit of a 
They're not going to be the drizzling shit. They're just going to be regular shit. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> like, it's going totally. to help them. It's going to help them. So, yeah. But, uh, anyways, moving on to the WWE United States Championship. Rey Mysterio, the 619 God versus Logan Paul. Boricua. Dorado Puerto Rico. Let's go. No. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> Damn, bro, I, I haven't heard that in ages. Good God! <laughs> Damn! Wow! I had to say it low, you know. Yeah, you know, yeah, I don't like saying that word. But anyways, um, it will be great if Logan Paul will win, and then we have him. I was talking to my brother actually, which he's he watches on the pod. Yo, shout out. Um, and we were, and I was, we were thinking like, yo, what if, excuse me, what if Logan Paul wins, right? Because technically Logan Paul is a price fighter. Let's just call it that. He only, he comes out, what, maybe once or twice on a regular Monday or Friday night show to cut a couple promos or whatever. And then he just has a pay-per-view match, right? Yeah. So then what if we were holding all that all the way until, I don't know maybe wrestlemania okay what if logan paul wins and then this sets up la knight for the future to dethrone him at wrestlemania that would make sense i mean i I think it'd be great i think it honestly would be great um granted i i want to see kevin owens against uh against logan paul i think that would be really fun uh, I mean, and, and I, then he can just beat him. I mean, he can. Ha- I'm not saying that Logan Paul is gonna have like no matches all the way into WrestleMania, but he can have a couple matches where he just wins by cheating or some bullshit. Actually, you know, you know, you the know cool I mean? thing, the cool thing about him is that he can take that championship. He can make YouTube videos. Like he has his his podcast, Bro, you, and he can just have the title there all the time, you know which gets millions much, of views. Yeah, that shit on is TikTok, gonna bring whatever, he, whatever he uses, yeah. whatever social media he uses. <laughs> He could have that title everywhere. That's gonna be like free promotion for WWE, no yeah, matter what. Because a bunch, yeah, a bunch of people are gonna be like, Wait, "What? He's a champion and what?" And it's the United States Championship. Like, it's not that important compared to like the like the Universal Championship or the IC title or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, we don't have to always have a match for it. And usually, most of the matches that. I mean, like for crying out loud, fucking Austin Theory had the had the title for almost a year, and he did not even once he had a fucking four star match. Like you know what I mean? That has been like the lowest, like on the card. Whenever you whenever you look at it, unfortunately, that's the championship that has the most the least amount of value. Like it's almost like right? the cruiserweight championship at that point. Yeah, so it's like don't get me wrong, like the like the United States Championship has a a prestigious history and things like that. But right now, the past what year and a half has been trash. Well, but that's where the 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 man doesn't make the the man makes a championship, not the championship makes a man. Correct. That's basically and and that's basically why it matters. It's right now like the uh, both heavyweight championships, the one that. Uh, the one that Roman has has more weight than the one that Seth has. Uh, the IC title has more weight than the U.S. title. So it's because of who is carrying that belt at a at any at, at a particular time. You know what but, would be nuts? What? Sorry, sorry to interrupt you, but you know what would be nuts if Logan Paul wins, right? And then he goes back to the to the island of relevancy, and then they just set up, like like to have a bunch of fans. As kind of like a fucking parade or something like that. And then they just have it in videos. Like you can put it on YouTube. You can put it on WWE. Bro, you know how many millions of views that will bring into the company? Oh, yeah. I just, be, be easy. Hunter, I just gave you an idea. Come on, man. I Book need it. my cut. Book it. <laughs> yeah. Send you to the. Hey, hey. <laughs> And Puerto you know, Ricans don't need another fucking uh, excuse to celebrate and have off a day. Oh yeah, we'll we'll, of, we'll party, we'll we'll drink, we'll we'll enjoy. We'll, we'll enjoy. Free we'll alcohol. Make sure. We'll make sure. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> hey, and you can you, you can cut a deal with Medaya or anything. Babe. Yeah, there's there's man. a bunch of stuff you can get there cheap too. So yeah, we'll let's go. Handing out prime. <laughs> that too, bro. Yeah. That would be in a at the beach. Ooh. Yo, that would That'd be. be 
That would be nuts. Hey, man, I just, I'm, I'm giving you guys idea. I need my cut if y'all make this happen. I'm hey, suing. Go. I'm suing. <laughs> take us, uh, hey, t- <laughs> just take it to Puerto Rico. We'll help you organize it. Yeah, there you go. Get paid for it too, but yeah. <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, we, need, we need that. Yeah, that's but, uh, no, but I think uh, Logan, Lo- I think Logan Paul's going to win just so he can have that championship and, and raise the level. Because right now, Ray's not doing anything with it. Like realistically, if Ray has a, in fact, the other day I was I was trying to I was literally trying to go through the, like the in my in my head with the with, you know who has the championships and I'm like the U.S. title who the hell has the U.S. title who has the U.S. title who has, oh Ray Mysterio like it took me a little bit because I haven't really seen him defend it that much and he honestly it what once no twice I Theory think- and then uh, um, Santos. Yeah, but that was it. Like it really, it it hasn't done anything. Yeah, like they haven't really done anything. There's no storylines with it, or anything like that. So I think Logan Paul would be way more interesting. Give WWE a lot more exposure. Yep. And 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 let's be honest here. Of all the celebrity, uh, of all the celebrities that we've ever had, he's probably the the best one. Second. Bad Bunny gotta be first. No, no, no. In, in the ring, it's not even close. All right, Bad Bunny second. Not right, even cool, close. Cool, cool, cool. Bad Bunny second. Not even right. close, bro. Like, come on. Logan right. Paul is actually better than a lot of wrestlers are that have been in WWE for a long. Oh yeah, time. hands down, hands down. Yeah, he's. He, and that match he had with Roman was just great. The one with the one with Seth looked good, but the one with Roman was just art. It was great. It was great. Obviously, you had Roman carry the match. But it was still oh, great. Sorry. It was still great. Uh, psychology. All right. So, uh, WWE Women's Championship. EO Sky. Smackdown. Smackdown Women's Championship. What did I say? You said WWE Women's Championship. Oh, Smackdown. Okay. Yeah, Smackdown. <laughs> Blue, bl- Blue Brand. Blue Brand. That's Blue Chew. Blue Chew. EO Sky versus Bianca Belair. <laughs> the Blue Chew match. <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, no, no, don't, 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 don't. <laughs> All right. Anyways, EO Sky versus <laughs> Bianca Belair. Bianca Belair comes back literally last week. <laughs> she comes and just like that, she has a fucking championship match. Hey, remember she's buddies with Charlotte now. She's buddies with Charlotte now, so you can you can do that now. I love. I love the management. I mean, the, uh, the, the, the card calling, whatever you want to call booking, it. The booking, booking. The booking. There we go. That's the name. Oh, my God. I'm spiking because of how excited I am about this fucking match. How, how, how amazing Bianca Belair just fucking deserves her title opportunity again. Because she never got a rematch. Anyways, yeah. go ahead, man. <laughs> if she doesn't turn heel by here, but if she doesn't turn heel in this match or after this match, then she's never going to turn heel. I don't think she is at, the, at this point. I don't think it, I don't, I don't think she is. It will she's, be beautiful. Now the double turn that you talked about, if it will happen here, if it will happen here. But do you think, do you really think that damage control w- would work as a baby face he, no uh, no 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 fuck split damage up everybody. control eo sky will be her own okay you gotcha. know what i mean because she's already shown faces of like what the fuck why are you guys getting involved or bailey why are you getting involved whenever i had it well but like, that you know started I mean? yeah but well but that started and then they, they went stopped. back and now they're now they're buddies again like nothing ever happened and then they mm-hmm. have something else they're looking at each other sideways and then they go back it's the same thing it's like why like it just seems yep. like there's like either they don't give a shit about them or anything. But I can guarantee Bailey's probably backstage, like uh probably giving ideas and stuff, and they're probably shutting everything down. But anyways, that's just uh my opinion. I I don't know any sources or anything. <laughs> but uh but yeah, but I, I think know. Bianca Bianca's gonna win. She's gonna just gonna steamroll over EO. EO's gonna uh, look good doing you know, doing her thing. But I think they're gonna give it to Bianca, the which honestly it would make sense to have, uh, and this would be kind of quote unquote historic because you're 
and have the first women's championship title change in Riyadh. So, which is kind of, but it's kind of cool to certain extent. That could happen with the fi- Fatal Five Way match. Yeah, but they're not going to do it because Rio's way too important right now. But Bianca doesn't deserve the title again. They're going to give it to her. Fuck! I would like now if, if she did win voice. it. Shout now, out the, to the Ted Lasso fans. <laughs> now the only way that that it would make sense that I would like it would be like you said, if Bianca turns heel. She wins the title and then turns heel like she's better than everybody. Like the whole, uh, like she didn't, like she used to do an NXT, like the fastest, the greatest, or whatever it is, the EST thing, but do it, you know, a little, be a little bit more arrogant about it. A little bit more. Uh, and so, then, and then Jade Cargill it. comes out. Ooh. Ooh. And then she's the baby face and then defeats Bianca Belair. That's the yeah. only way that this makes sense. And I even will though, be okay. Even with though it. I don't know if Jade could be a. Or what if Jade cost Bianca the match? Yo, I would be an instant fan. That would be great. That would that would be that would be really good. I would be an instant fan. And that's it would the be the only fan. the only bad thing about that is that then Bianca is still gonna be the center of that story. Then Eo is just gonna be pushed to the side. Okay, go fight Zaya Lee for like ten minutes. Okay, yeah, go Who? fight uh, Chelsea Green for like ten minutes. This Who? is what they <laughs> exactly. Nikki Cross. What? Who? <laughs> Piper Niven. Who? I'm kidding. I, we know who that is. But uh, nah, she would just have a feud with uh, Selena Vega again. Like, oh, oh God, God, no, please, no. What's her name? Uh, we love you, Selena, uh, but Valkyrie. Yeah. Uh, what's her first name? Oh my, Akira Valkyrie. Akira no, the Valkyrie. new one, the the one that won the NXT Championship. Yeah. Um, I can't remember her first name. It's something Valkyrie. I don't know. Are you anyways, crazy but, uh, not, uh, anyways, who cares? Whatever. But uh you have Bianca Belair winning, I have Eo Sky winning. Yeah, um, you know what I Ah I'm I'm What's gonna happen is EO's gonna win because Bailey's gonna get involved, but then Charlotte is gonna get involved. So then Bailey's gonna get distracted and then I mean uh Bianca Belair is gonna get distracted and then uh uh Bianca Charlotte is gonna feud. get a roll up. And then yeah. Bianca and Charlotte yeah. are gonna feud? Yeah. But Charlotte has to be involved somehow. <laughs> exactly. She may be the special ref uh, referee in this match. You know what? I'm convinced. And we I'm, find I'm, out I'm, that I'm going. I'm going with you. I'm going with you now. I, I, I changed because I think knowing, <laughs> uh, not not to say that it's not a bad idea, but once Charlotte came into the picture, I'm like, oh yeah, that, that, it makes yeah, sense. Makes it sense. Makes sense. Because <laughs> even the Jade Cargill thing is cooler. But yeah. it ain't gonna happen. That that would be cool. That would but be it's cool. not gonna happen. They ain't gonna we fly know. her out there just for that. Oh, they would. I mean, bro, remember it's Saudi. I mean, like, there's how money long in, is like... that ramp? Like, if she's walking down that ramp with heels, like, no, nah, she'll 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 do well. She'll she'll do well. Are you imagine that? J- that the the uh, the no, last... she doesn't have to walk the ramp. Like, they yeah, could just have right. her under the ring for a little bit and just like, bah, turn off the lights and there she is. Last la- last thing, last thought will be. That <laughs> Bianca Belair is about to win, and then something happens to the referee that gets knocked out. Charlotte is at ringside, laying on the floor. Bailey's at ringside, laying on the floor. Dakota Kai is over there with her tour ACL. Um, and then Jay Cargill comes out, and then actually, what's her finishing move? Is isn't it kind of like a choke slam? No, uh, I, I forgot what it is. I think it's kind of like a torture rack type deal, but I, I forgot what it was. I haven't seen it anyway. She anyways. pulls it on Bianca, and then uh, we get EO. Uh, EO to win. No, that, anyways, that, that, that would that's, work. That, that's, all, that's all I could think of. Plus, I think Jade's a better heel than she is a baby face, anyways. Yeah. yeah Jade is what Bianca would be as a heel, kind of, I guess. But um, yeah. but anyways, but anyways, yeah. But 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 definitely yeah. So then, EO's gonna win, or at least it's gonna be a DQ. Nothing's really gonna happen here. Um. Next match, the Invisible Man, John Cena, against Bro, Solo Sokoa. That man should be invisible after that last movie that he came out with. Uh, what the hell is the name of it? What was that last? John I have Cena no movie? idea. You sent you sent me that Hold yesterday, on, but I... La John Cena movie. John Cena movie. 
Freelance. Yep. Complete otter trash. Still getting Stinky paid, doo-doo. Granted, The Rock had, had a few bad movies too when he started. So. Whenever he started. However, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In the since 2022, this is his seventh movie. That's fine. Just counting, mm-hmm. going based of what I see right now, but I'm pretty sure it's more. I'm, I'm not a John. I'm, I'm not a John Cena fan, but I got a. I got a. You know, Peacemaker was great. Had, no, but even that's Batista's probably his best better. work. I remember this is all about roles. It's like it's like if you're gonna judge The Rock by Black Adam. Really can't. Even though honestly, he's not a great actor. Fun, no. but not. Batista is the best WWE actor. I feel. Yeah. Oh, without, definitely without better question. in the Miss and the Marine twenty five twenty five. <laughs> <laughs> <The, laughs> Whatever it was. By now, it should be a series, <laughs> just a regular <laughs> yeah, show. This like point. this I week am, on <laughs> the Marine. Yeah. So, uh, anyways, John Cena versus Solo Sokoa. Um, John Cena's gonna win. Yep, it's gonna be a big pop for Saudi. Right, to which make is great. everybody happy over there. Yeah. The only the only yeah. thing is that I don't like is that one thing is losing a couple of matches, but now it just seems like Solo Sokoa is turning into JD McDonough of the of the bloodline. Like he's just taking L's left and right for no reason at all. Like he's not, not intimidating at all. He's losing all of his credibility, and yeah. and. After we thought that at some point he may be the one to actually beat Roman because he was stronger and, and technically could physically take him out. What the fuck? But it seems like nothing, uh, it seems like they're not going to go that route. No. Yeah. And then John Cena, obviously. Yeah, it was John Cena. And then him and his whole sob story of like, oh, I haven't won a singles match in like 2000 and something days or whatever. Blah, 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 blah. I'm trying to make people feel bad for him. And. Anybody that feels bad for him, even if it's in storyline, it's like, really? Like, who cares? Yeah. Yep. Like, really, who cares? You know, a uh, random thought. I'm very surprised about the, uh, that they didn't add a, a match with, um, Gunther being involved. Yeah, probably not. I mean, at this like, point, I would, I would have loved to see, uh, I don't know. Just yeah, but there's the, no storyline right? versus, versus. Yeah, but there's no storyline or anything like that. Even though we know this is a glorified house show, but I, I mean, why? Why even? Yeah, yeah, no, I, I get your point. I get your point. It was just been like you know, since you have every title being defended right now except the tag titles, like might as well just like say fuck it, just add that one into it. Actually, you know what, what, what would have been good would would have been to build. Bronson read up and instead of having their their and instead of them having their match at Raw a few weeks ago, Which they should have had good. it here. Yeah, but they should have had yeah. it here. An all out yeah. banger. Which well, by the that, way, um I'm checking out the WWE website and then they only have the thumbnail or the pictures for four matches. Oh. So <laughs> so they have it for Ray the US match, the the world heavyweight match, the un- universal champion. Um, oh, they have it for the kickoff show, but they don't have it for they don't have one for Bianca and Io. They don't have one for John Cena and Solo. Well, maybe it's because um, or Cody and Damian. Well, maybe it's because uh, uh, Vince McMahon just made a deal on UFC's behalf to have their shows in Saudi, like do something like what they're doing with Crown Jewel and. Uh, and the the other one I forgot. It. What's the other What's the other name? Uh, Whatever the other one is. Oh, wait, Crown I Jewel Two. Whatever. I found it. I found. I found the. Found but then what? What if it's What if it's Vince again? I'm like, all of a sudden, I'm back. Dot dot dot. He just comes <laughs> out from the from the woodworks. Yeah. Supposedly but, he's out there hanging with with uh, Undertaker. For real. It's out here. Yeah. He looks like Vince looks like a creep with that mustache, bro. He does. He looks like a bizarre Walt Disney. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Uh, anyways, um, Walt Disney from the multiverse. Uh, if he never died, that's, that's who do you? <laughs> that will be terrible. Who who do you the have? On this? <laughs> the Panthers. <laughs> the. Uh, who, who do you have on this? John Cena, right? Yeah, John Cena. Easy. easy. All right. 
our last match Cody Rhodes versus Damian Priest. I am surprised that they didn't make this for the money in the bank briefcase. Yep, me too. Me too. So I would have hated that. I would have hated that. Even though they still yeah. have time. Because even the day the what, day of Friday? they get no, oh, the day, they oh, can the say, day say the day of, it. yeah, because they're from Raw. So they can still say the day of, hey, we actually changed the match to a briefcase match. Bro, and... I will legit just be like I will flip out. Cause like it's just like, bro, like every fucking possible way that you're just shoving this man down our throats, pause. It's like, why? Why? Why the fuck is this happening? You know what I mean? It's like, come on, man. Yeah, no, it'll be it'll be terrible. It'll be terrible. But uh, I don't know. I, I have I have Cody Rhodes winning just because it's classic WWE. Whoever has the briefcase loses almost every match they have, until, no matter what. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. Until, until they cash in and then they win. Until he cashes in and the United States champion. <laughs> <laughs> or or he he tries to cash in for the IC title. And then Gunther yeah. just chops him to hell. <laughs> like, yeah, ah! he he sends him back to Ponce. Yeah, like that's the how far duro, south he's gonna go. The yeah. wall duro, Bobby. Nah. No, <laughs> no. Yeah. So uh, Cody Rhodes is gonna win. I don't want to talk too much about this match. No, it's whatever. Uh, but yeah, man. No. Um, so I think we basically was... agree on everything. We agree on everything. I believe first nah, time nah, ever. Except... Um, yeah, because yeah, yeah, you one, changed yeah. from Bianca, changed from to, Bianca Io. to Io. Yeah. You imagine we're right? Hey, oh my God, this will let's be, go. This, this will be a crazy prediction show. And we're normally like, pretty good, but if we're yeah. we're both on the same page, yeah. with our powers combined. <laughs> Power Rangers? Metaphor. Me- wait, me- metaphor. <laughs> Metamorph. <laughs> Uh, what? <laughs> what? Uh, but anyways man this was our prediction show ah uh, let's see graphic. what happens on this glorified house show this is gonna be interesting la knight is definitely not gonna win roman reigns is gonna retain you got rhea ripley retaining seth freaking rollins hopefully losing but retaining probably Rey Mysterio is going to lose. Logan Paul is going to be our new United States Championship. EO Sky is definitely going to win some way, somehow. John Cena, you can't see him, but you're going to see him catching a dub. Then Cody Rhodes is going to, whoa, his way to another win. That's our prediction show for the 20, 2023 Crown Jewel. <laughs> Anyways, don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, hit the notification bell. Deuces. Peace.